Houston, I'm not going to say it's a sense of relief, but how nice to get that first save out of the way. It's nice. It's good. Uh, you know, it, it, truthfully, the first two appearances were, were tighter games. I mean, they were tied games. So you, you wanted to... Uh, you wanted to get the job. Really, the first appearance mm -hmm. of the year is the, is the toughest one energetically because you've got that extra energy. You've been waiting the last six months to get out there and go get that one. But uh, you always want to start off one for one. Uh, Dino's home run was a huge home run for us, a huge boost for the team. Yeah. Um, and you didn't want to let that go to waste. You wanted to, you wanted to capitalize on that moment. We only had three outs to get after that. So uh, it, was a, it was important for me, but I think it was important for the team that I got the job done there even if it was my first save or my 10th save. Were you already warming up? I couldn't see it, I, I wasn't watching on TV, but how quick were you jumping up and running around once North hit that out? I, I was already getting loose. Were, they, okay. they, they called down and said, uh, if we tie the game that I was gonna be in, because you know, closer pitches that at home in the ninth in a tight situation. So we had a guy on base, so I was already starting to get loose. And then I actually didn't see that. I just heard the crack of the bat and heard Gregerson was, was uh, warming up next to me and I heard him screaming at the ball. <laughs> So uh, that kind of alerted me as time to get hot. And then once I saw the ball clear the fence, uh, went through my normal routine. A nice win for the Padres, especially in division. A nice first save for you, but it seems like all the, all the top chatter has been about your entrance song. Yeah. You went from Hate Me Now to Strangle? Sure, Stranglehold, Stranglehold. By, uh, by Ted Nugent. Now how did you pick that song? I didn't pick it. That was the, that was the easiest thing. Uh, I, I was actually having trouble picking it. I mean, it, you, you know, you, you come into Trevor Hoffman's house where uh, the ninth inning is symbolic of you know, hell's bells and uh, getting the job done. And so um, in light of that tra tradition, I wanted to kind of uphold my end of the bargain by picking something special. And uh, when I came into camp, they kind of asked, what, what's your song going to be? I was like, guys, I, I have no clue. And then Jim Malone, our strength coach, he came up with the song, which was confirmed by uh, Denorfia. Shoot, you Jeff let Supon. Jim Malone let Jim make Malone. that decision. I, it's a great that decision. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... If there's anybody that, that, I mean, embodies the night, it's Jim Malone. I mean, you look at him, he's, you know, jacked and big, and uh, uh, he has a presence to him. And I thought the song was a great choice, too. We listened to it, we played it loud, and uh, I think it was a good choice. And then Trevor heard it about two weeks after we had chosen, and he gave the thumbs up, so that was important to me, too. I mean, it's really, all, truthfully, all about him and what he created in the ninth inning with the song and the idea behind it. So Padres play a nice, close, two-to-one ball game, which we, we get a lot here at Petco. Park. Did you get nostalgic watching your former team, the Colorado Rockies, put up 17 runs at Coors Field? I, did, I didn't even know. <laughs> 17 runs at Coors Field. Last night? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Truthfully, uh, you know, with all due respect to my old teammates, I, I don't. I, I pay attention to the standings and. Yeah. Uh, I, want to, I don't pull against anybody, but I'm not pulling for anybody other than my team to win. So uh, I do appreciate Petco Park a little more than I appreciate. I mean, Coors is, it's, it's, not an easier, it's not an easy place to pitch, but at the same time, you make your pitches at that field. There were some, there, there are two to one ball games there as well. You just, you got to be a little bit more careful. Speaking of Coors Field, you'll make your, your return there uh, next week. Looking forward to that, seeing some old teammates. Yeah, you know, not necessarily, uh, I mean, to see the people, yes, to see the people, because I enjoyed the people there. Uh, to play there, uh, I've played there before, and now they're my, they're not my team anymore. Uh, this is, the, the Padres are my team, so, uh, you, know, you I have a lot of respect for the organization, I have a lot of respect for those fans and the people there, but uh, when I go back to that stadium, I'll be wearing a different uniform, and I'll be pulling for that team. Gotcha, now, I know you, you make your home in, in Texas, so yes. Cowboys fan? Houston uh, Texans fan? I'm a, I'm a Texas, anything Texas fan. I mean, if it's for the, good for the state, I like it. I mean, I, I'm born and raised in Texas, so the Cowboys win and the Texans win, the, I, that would be a good day for me. But you, got to, you were close. I mean, the Broncos were right there, and you mentioned that last season that uh, was it Peyton Manning would make a visit because he knows Peyton, Todd yeah, Hilton. How do you think yeah. he'll work out for the Broncos? Oh, God, man. Peyton is Peyton. I think he's the best of all time. So I don't think, I don't think, I think everybody's excited to get Peyton. I'm interested to see... Uh, Hopefully he's healthy. Uh, he, he was someone who I got to know a little bit and yeah. uh, thought was a great person. So uh, it's, it's always fun to be in this arena to meet people like him in other sports, other walks of life. And when you end up liking him at the end of the day, you pull for him. And, and I hope he does well. Well, thank you very much and uh, continued luck. Absolutely. Thanks.